Hello, 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 buddy. Today we are playing or revisiting Dead Ops Arcade in 2024. Not a typical zombies map, but still in the lineup in an official Call of Duty Zombies game. One of the main line games by Treyarch, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's do it. Let's rock it. Uh, and it's a good time for me to talk about why have I been missing? Am I just become a lazy YouTuber who is simply going to skate by on his, uh, what's the term? I don't even know, man. But look, things have been pretty crazy in me old personal life lately. If you've been a long time viewer here recently, a long time viewer here recently, if you've been watching the videos recently, you'll know there have been things that come up uh, where I'm like, ah, I want to talk about it, but I can't. I can't talk about it right now. Well, now is the time. Get ready, sit back, get your tea, your popcorn, your soda, Coca-Cola, whatever you want, because I'm going to be sitting here playing the game, telling you guys about all the juicy drama. I'm not going to be focusing too much on the gameplay this time around. It is live commentary, uh, but look, it's Dead Ops Arcade. I'm basically just going to go, uh, look, I'm not very good at this game, but... I'm basically just going to vibe and play it. Uh, while I tell you guys what's been going on, give you guys some updates. Not a super serious um, or in-depth video, but basically what's been happening, and this has been since about December in my apartment, um, the the neighbors above us, for one, have always been a little bit loud. We've had multiple families uh, live above us in our apartment, and we've never had uh, noise issues like we have had with these ones. Um, it, it, frankly, it, look, spoiler alert, it, it's pretty just inconsiderate what has been happening and occurring. Um, but you know what? We can live with a lot of the noise because that's just life, right? No point in freaking out about something you don't have too much control over, and I don't want to ruin anyone's day by, you know, being a nuisance to them by asking them to constantly quiet down, this, that, or the other. And, you know, you can say it's just part of apartment living, yada yada, right? Well, come December, last Christmas, um, <laughs> they got a, uh, one of them got the other for Christmas, a sound bar with a subwoofer built in. Now, these neighbors above us uh, very much like EDM dubstep, and they also very much like bass. And they had this bass up so loud um, to the point where it was like vibrating the pictures on our walls, the stuff on tables, like, you know, vases and flower pots, etc., uh, etc. Et and it, it was, uh, it was, I, you know, I've talked about how I have ADHD. I have pretty severe noise sensitivity. So, in general, noise is a struggle, but this was beyond anything because I have noise canceling headphones so normally I can just put on those and relax but I can't noise canceling headphones don't block out the physical vibrating of my apartment um, so I did have to knock on the door uh, and ask them to turn it down and <sighs> I, we're gonna there's a lot that went on over the next few months but basically no matter what happened I we ended up having over the course of about four months having to knock on the door about three or four times asking them to turn it down um, after the first attempt we were uh, the first attempt was fine they were like yeah we just got this for Christmas we'll turn it down um, and and the thing was because this would come up how they turned it down and there were no issues, right? So they turned their base down on and there were no issues. Uh, and then they turned it back up for whatever reason. Um, and that's where we had to knock the second time. And then they were like, well, you know, we have it. It, it can go all the way down to negative 20. And we have it on negative 12. We had it on negative 20 last time y'all asked. And, you know, it's like, well, maybe, you know, if you could turn it back down. We didn't say that. We were just like, okay, well, you know, just whatever you guys can do to turn it down. Um, we really appreciate it. Because they, I, he said they were doing a, a D and d session. And what they were doing during it was he was playing Cave Sounds, which I play D&D with my friends. I completely understand how important the, uh, ooh, oh, I went down. I didn't know I would go down in one hit there. Uh, I understand how important the ambience is, uh, the ambiance. But whenever you have the bass, you know, turned up, because at that point he, he actually didn't have it on negative 12. This is a different time, right? Um, because he would, they eventually, they started turning it up just to spite us. Um, and you know what? You can feel free to do what you want, I suppose. Um, but... I'm gonna have to scatterbrain throughout this a little bit because there's there's a lot to talk about here to basically explain everything that went on. Um, it, the, these cave sounds with the bass just sounded like thundering in our apartment, and again, it's it's literally shaking things. So I do the only thing I can think of at this point. I've so the the I'm gonna have to be careful not to say the name, but the rental agency that we have, um, they are very uh, gung ho, I believe is the term, where it basically if a single complaint occurs, they will just straight up go to an eviction notice. Um, they'll be like, if you don't resolve this in three days. 
days, you will get evicted. Um, and I've told this neighbor this because he was like, well, just contact the uh, leasing agency or the rental agency, what have you. And I was like, well, look, I'd really rather not because if I do that, you know, you guys will get evicted. And, you know, they, for the most part, they're pretty nice to us. Um, you know, they, I, I won't lie, they get into a lot of arguments, a lot of screaming matches. Um, they've thrown things. They've, they've curse at each other. Um, unfortunately, I've heard them cuss at their four-year-old daughter. Um, pretty... I... I say they're good people to their face because I don't want open hostility, but honestly, the way I've heard them, like, talk to a four-year-old and the way I've heard them talk to each other, it, it's hard for me to say that I think they're particularly great people. Um, but regardless so they end up you know having the base at negative 12 or whatever and it's fine we can still hear it what whatever um but they turn it back up they turn it back up and they're they're screaming at us at this point uh because we this is the third time we knocked on their door i think maybe it, it was either the third or it had to be the third right maybe i don't know maybe there were five times total that we knocked over uh four months because again started in january this has been going on um into late march slash early april and basically he was like well look just contact the leasing agency just do it um and i will contact them as well is what he said and i said okay i will uh so i contacted them i submitted the complaint and they get a third day eviction notice uh and they stopped playing the music for about two weeks well, uh, and, and it's important to note during this that, that later that night, after he told me to, uh, he uh, basically knocked on our door and said, oh, I'm supposed to go down here, and said, well, look, we won't play the music anymore. Can you call and tell them that this is resolved so we don't get evicted? And I was like, sure. I have no issue with that because I don't want you guys to get evicted. I don't want to be the bad guy. I would just like to live in my home, which I've lived in for four years around at this point uh, in relative peace. I just want to be able to relax and enjoy it. I didn't even see that zombie there, honestly. Um, and again, I've never had any issues like this with any other neighbors. Um, and it also relevant, I've had other neighbors that, that I've contacted and reached out to um, that have heard this music and they were like yeah this is pretty extremely loud um, and so they filed complaints with me because it it was loud this is where it's important to go back to these people they scream out they get in screaming matches with each other um, they they really just do not like each other I actually went to L oh my gosh is that GG did I lose no not yet I actually went to elementary school with one of them and I mean look she was fine whenever we were in elementary school um, again generally good people until we started having the well nice people to us outwardly until we started having um, the sound issue well, the next day, he comes and, at this point, not knocking on my door, but he bangs on my door very loud, being like, Hey, did you contact them? I don't want the cops showing up here on Monday. Uh, and I was like, Yes, I contacted them, you know, all's well. And he said, Great. Uh, and it's clear he's mighty, mighty annoyed, mighty frustrated, and respectfully, you know, we are as well. We don't want to have to go knocking on neighbor's doors because it, our dogs are freaking out because, you know, our walls are shaking, this, that, or the other. You know, we've never filed a complaint about hearing the screaming matches or anything of the sort. Well, about a week later, they get into what might be the loudest screaming match uh, that we'd heard yet. And they are just losing their minds at each other. I'm hearing plates being thrown and crash. Their little, oh, their poor little daughter. Um, their poor little daughter walked up and, you know, like, just asked a question. And the words I heard that they said to this girl are truly unbelievable and, like, disgusting. Also, I have no idea what my nuke or dash buttons are. I honestly forgot that was even a feature of the game, so uh, forgive me. Um, so we actually end up, you know, recording this. And we, we've recorded the loud noise uh, in the past um, just to show that, you know, we're not being absurd here. Um, uh, you know, we have the video proof that this is beyond a kind of level of acceptance, truth be told. Um, <laughs> so we record this, we send it to the agency, um, nothing comes from it, which honestly we didn't expect them to because we, we weren't sending it to like get them in trouble. It's more so because, um, they, so at this point they've been openly hostile towards us and we honestly wanted to call like the, you know, for a domestic, um, we wanted to call like dispatch for a domestic issue because like it sounded like it was getting, I mean, they were throwing things at each other, you know, like I don't know what I was supposed to do because domestic situations are scary. You never want someone to get hurt. And even though I might have problems with these two, I don't want either of them hurting each other or something happening to this girl. But at the same time, 
we've had issues with them before. Um, so they're going to first thing think it's us, and that's going to make things even worse. So we're kind of scared and in between. So we just contact the rental agency and let them know, you know, what's going on, right? So boom, bada bing, we, uh, we contact them. Uh, nothing comes from it. It's also important to know, I know I'm, I'm leaving out and trying to remember a lot of information here. But... We've talked to other neighbors, right? And these other neighbors have said, yeah, this noise is an issue. They've also talked to other neighbors, and the noise, and they told them that the noise isn't an issue. It's very important to know this because the reason they're saying that to them is because of these arguments that everyone around them has heard, um, because of these confrontations that they've heard. It, there's not much noise, like, blocking, so whenever I've talked to them, all the neighbors are able to hear me talk to them, and they've heard the way that they talk to me. Um, and so they're like, yeah, no, we don't want to, you know, tell them, but this is absurd. So we all file complaints, gotta gotta. Uh, and I, so two weeks later, after they get the eviction notice, one week after the big argument, they start talking about how um, they, they, they start playing the music again. And I, I should have just contacted their rental agency. I should have. I didn't. Uh, because last time, you know, they knocked on our door twice to make sure that we didn't, uh, you know, didn't get them evicted or what have you. And they, I assume they wanted an open line of communication because they knocked on our door asking us to make sure that, oh my God, I'm completely stuck in the sink, to make sure that we contact. I didn't want to just immediately, oh, I said the name, I'm going to have to censor it, unlucky. Um, but to make sure that, you know, they contacted the agency, what have you, or to make sure we contacted it to tell them everything was resolved, right? How did I die there? Okay, I have another life, at least. Um, I'm losing my train of thought here so incredibly much. Ooh, another life I just picked up. But I end up knocking on their door. This was a big mistake because uh, the the female uh, answers with uh, immediately hostility, uh, begins screaming, begins asking to enter um, our home to hear it for herself, which because she's screaming, I say, yeah, you know, I'm not comfortable with that. Um, and she repeatedly is like, well, let me in, let me in. Um, and she was like, do you even have any proof of this? And I was like, yeah, you know, we, we, we have some recordings of this. Because um, I was willing to show her the recordings until she started, you know, screaming at us. Um, so at this point, she's yelling to enter our house or show her the recordings. Uh, and I, I don't want to show her the recordings because she's yelling at me, man. Like, I, I, I just want the situation to be over. I'm like, hey, look. It's fine, you know, let's just be done talking here. And she starts yelling about how they're gonna file a harassment complaint because this is either the fourth or the fifth time we've knocked on the door over, you know, four months, uh, asking them to turn down the music. So, uh, lo and behold, I, I look, I don't do well with conflict, I don't. I'm, I'm a pretty peaceful guy, I, I don't like to, you know, I don't know. As I get older, I, I used to be fairly hot-headed, but now I, I try to keep a cool and level head. So I'm, I'm just repeating, you know, hey, this is over. We're, we're done talking about this. You know, it, it's fine. Everything's fine. It, and I, I'm having to ask her to lower her voice because she's continuing to scream. Repeats multiple times, well, let me in. Let me into your home and continues to walk towards my door. Um, and I'm just like, please, please stop. Please stop. Um, she ends up backing off. You know, nothing, nothing gets physical. No one bows up or anything, but it's clearly there's a lot of... Um, aggravation and uh, you know on one end a, a type of aggression right so i i just you know we we email the leasing agency um not email but like submit a complaint with all of the videos because the last time we didn't submit the videos or anything this time we submit all of the videos everything um and you know me and the wife are honestly pretty scared because uh, oh i gotta be careful not to go down like that i i honestly don't know the keybind for the nuke that's the boost um I have no idea what the keybind is for. I'm going to have to play again, I think, while I'm talking about this. Uh, but, I know I've gone so in-depth here for the drama for you guys. Uh, we end up submitting all of it. And during while we're submitting it, um, the guy the guy who lives upstairs, he was at work at the time, uh, starts messaging us about, you know, um, it, it, keep in mind, by the way, they're, they're using this harassment as a complaint. They're just trying to scare us. Uh, and he starts sending me some pretty deranged texts saying, like, um... <laughs> Uh, hope you have some proof or this is harassment smiley face. We're gonna get you guys kicked out smiley face um, All this stuff. So I, I submit that as well um, I, I submit the text everything I submit my conversations with other neighbors where they're saying about how they're too scared to talk about the music to them But they agree it's an issue. I didn't even see the Nova crawlers there. It should be GG But we'll go ahead and uh, restart it up F to skip pretty please and how do I start it back up? Um, anyways, I'll continue talking during all this because I don't mind showing it um, so we end up submitting everything, but last time, right when I resubmitted, they got the notice fairly quickly and they started banging on our door. So my wife and I 
grab the animals and we basically make out like thieves in the night and we go to the um to, to the like a uh, little lake area that my family has and we stay there for a week um and the first day we're there we get a text from one of our neighbors saying how the upstairs neighbors are going around banging on people's doors asking if there's a disturbance because the rental agency is trying to kick them out um and they're gonna fight it in court it all <laughs> There's still more to this that happened before, like we're at the point in the story. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to go back and tell, because um, because it, it factors into why the schedules have been kind of inconsistent since December. Um, but so we were end up right to leave, and they, they I, I I honestly don't know what was going on. Um, but now we're actually over at um, my wife's grandma's house. She needs someone to help take care of her. So we're over here uh, and it is also a lot more relaxing and it's a lot easier to record because here's the thing they've mentioned in passing because um, <laughs> what I do is I try to be nice. I, like, I've had decent conversations and I was like, you know, hey, if you guys ever hear any noise from us, please just let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to. And she's like, ah, the only time, you know, we've ever heard noise. Because, again, they were relatively nice until they really got mad about us asking them to turn down the music. So, by the way, I made it clear very times that it wasn't the music that was the issue. We didn't actually hear the music. It's the bass ringing through the entire apartment complex. Everybody is feeling this thumping, right? So I, I told them several times, like, hey, it's not actually the volume. It's just this bass. You can turn it down. And, again, they turned it down before to where it was an issue. And again, we've never had an issue until they got the soundbar system um, with the subwoofer built in. And so um, she uh, she mentioned a few times in passing about how, you know, oh, the only thing I've ever heard is, you know, uh, once or twice how, you know, we, you were on your friends, uh, on Discord with your friends and we heard you. And I was like, I'll absolutely be quiet. And during that time, my desk was actually in my living room, which makes sense why they'd be able to hear me. But kind of ever since then, ever since like the there's been this air of conflict um with them i i've been honestly kind of scared to record because i you you can't record quietly at least i can't i try to use my full voice whenever i record i want to be relatively loud uh so i feel like my videos aren't as good if i'm having to whisper and i'm also extremely stressed about this because this is scary to me man you know i i don't know what to do if we get evicted because if you get evicted you know it's hard to find another place to live um and it was just a scary situation, so I'm, I'm stressed out mentally. I'm honestly scared to record because if she hears me or if he hears me and they record me, they can say that I'm being a disturbance as well, which I agree. I, I do need to make sure I watch my volume while I'm recording, but we've had multiple families above us and this has never been an issue until now. So I'm just kind of scared to record at full volume. So I've been kind of uncomfortable recording because I don't want to get us evicted because I'm being too loud. You know, I've heard of a lot of YouTubers who get noise complaints um, and I don't know what to do if that happened to me so that's part of why there haven't been many uploads lately for one i've not even been home um except for two days where we tried to go back home after being at meg's grandma's uh for a week and <laughs> they, whenever we were home they were still there uh because the eviction process takes a long time mind you it, it, it takes you know it can take several months and they they were they were stomping beyond all i have I, I took videos because you know i always try to make sure i have proof of everything to make sure that you know because i wouldn't want anyone to file false complaints against me so i have proof to make sure nobody thinks i'm filing false complaints against them um because you know i i like to think that i wouldn't just file a complaint for absolutely no reason out of spite or anything like that but only things actually cause issues and we're talking about stomping to the point where you know a photo literally fell off our wall like it's it's bad they are doing everything they can to spite us um uh, there's multiple things that they did. It wasn't just that. There was some stuff with their dog uh, that they did, which is crazy. Um, but again, it <laughs> it doesn't matter too much. Um, but we basically decided, hey, we we can't we can't live here anymore. Um, so we've submitted our 30 days, and for right now, we're just over at my wife's uh, Meg. She's been a few videos before. Actually, Dead Ops Dead Ops Arcade. Um, we're over here right now at her grandma's house and I have a nice little recording area where I don't have to worry about being too quiet or any of this stuff and I'm actually able to relax for the first time in a while because this stuff has been honestly just like stressing the, the crap out of me it's been pretty miserable um, 
So I'm I'm happy to be here and able to record for you guys. Um, I'm happy to be out of that situation because that situation was honestly pretty horrifying. It was it was um it was just scary having you know neighbors who weren't scared of just yelling at us and you know I mean threatening to try to kick us out because we knocked on their door asking them to turn off the music. Um, just an all around not extraordinarily fun situation to have found myself in. Did we get them? I don't know. Hold up. I really want to see if we're able to, but I don't. Come on, how low can we get you, big guy? No, we're not going to be able to get him right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's the gist of it. I basically wasn't able to record super consistently because I've been really stressed out. Um, and I've been scared that they will try to record me recording to file a complaint in retaliation against us. Um, and then we've just kind of not been home for uh, coming up on three or four weeks now, which is kind of around the last time. It was actually the day I uploaded the last video, I had it scheduled. And that was the day that we ended up uh, having to leave, I believe. Um, something around that. So... It's been very unfun, but hopefully we can get back to some form of regular, uh, normalcy um, while I'm trying to kind of temper down uh, and calm down. Uh, because honestly, I'm, I'm still kind of wound up even right now. I'm getting a little bit anxious and stressing about it because we still are, like are in the process of how we still have to go back and get all of our stuff. Uh, and like while we were at the lake, by the way, my dad went by to feed the cat, right? And they literally ran down the stairs before they even saw who it was and slammed open the door, saw it was my dad, closed the door, went back upstairs and just watched him from the window, like as he went in and out to feed the cat. Like they just stared at him and didn't say a word to him and then went back up. Like they, they were just waiting for us. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a scary situation uh, to be sure. Uh, and I'm not particularly enthused about it um, or excited about having to go back to get all of our stuff but it is what it is we will make do um, so hopefully uploads will at least be a little more normal than once every three or four weeks um, you know dream situation obviously is every third day uh, but if I'm not able to maintain that please understand it's just because it is a time of a lot of turmoil in my IRL life um, and it's a very unfun situation to be in in the least so hopefully I was able to clear everything up. Um, not quitting YouTube, anything like that. I don't know if anyone was worried about that, um, but just in case you were, I'm here to stay for at least a little bit longer. You know, I, I love the Zombies community. I hope I never have to stop making videos because making videos, um, despite, you know, sometimes my stress and anxieties, I, it, it is my favorite thing. It is um, being able to... I, I have so much of an emotional connection to videos because, uh, you know, as a, I grew up an only child for one thing, uh, for, for most of my life. But eventually, um, after my mom passed, my dad remarried and there were step siblings, uh, who I, whom I love dearly, by the way. But during my, like, developmental portion of my childhood, um, I, I was I was alone. So I used videos a lot. Um, and, you know, I, whenever I was younger, my, um, my parents didn't keep the home particularly clean, so I wasn't able to have my friends over. So, during the daytime, um, I mostly was, or like during the afternoon, I, I was mostly just by myself. So, I watched a lot of videos. I had online friends I would play games with, but whenever they would go offline, it would be back to videos. And so, I spent a lot of my younger, formative years watching videos. And... It was such a comfort to me and it, you know look you should never look up to content creators but admittedly you know those words are going to fall on deaf ears for people and i think the most important thing you can do being in the position of a content creator as someone who used to look up to them um is try to at least be as aspiring of a role model as you can um without it, never look up to me but if you're going to, which you shouldn't, I want to try to set as good of an example as I can. At least that's what it was for me whenever I was younger. Now, keep in mind, I, this is during the more early stages of YouTube and everything. So, like, there wasn't as much stuff about, you know, don't be parasocial. Don't care about your streamers' personal lives. Things like that. Um, yada, yada. Which, again, you shouldn't because they should be nothing more than a voice on the screen that makes you go, ha ha, funny man. Um, but at the same time, I always feel like I owe you guys explanations for things. Even though I could just say, hey, screw it all, I quit. And that would be that. But I have no intention to do that because, uh, you know, I like you guys. I keep you around just for a little bit longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to try to, I don't know. I don't know. I also figure out where I was going with this. Something about role models or whatever. But I try to be as good a person as I can because uh, I have a, oh, I remember. I was talking about how, you know, videos were a big part of my life growing up. And so, you know, whether you're 30 years old watching me or whether you're, you know, what's YouTube term of service? 12? 15? I don't know. Honestly, if you're under 18, you probably shouldn't be watching me, but I'm not your parents, bro. Um, <laughs> dude, I'm sorry, I've been watching so much Moon Moon lately. Dude, GTRP has been such an absolute crutch during this, uh, during these trying times, which I've received no eggs. Um, a little reference for you there. Surely you guys, some of you guys get that at least. Um, 
I've been watching so much movie. Moomoo just like goes off being like, I wish your parents had used a condom. <laughs> like, I don't know, I love it. It's so funny to me. Cause like, I, I don't know, maybe he does get actually mad, but whether he does or not, it's really, really funny. Um, but I'm just, dude, I'm so happy to be here. I, I've got the biggest smile on my face right now. I, I hope you guys can hear it. Cause I truly believe that you can hear a smile. So much, um, emotion can be conveyed through your voice. Your voice is truly one of your most powerful assets in life. And I suggest that you utilize it. Um, I, I most certainly try to, and that's part of why it's kind of sucked being in the situation I've been in. Cause I feel like I can't utilize my voice to its fullest extent. Now I guarantee you there's going to be some mic peaking and popping in this video because I've had to readjust my microphone settings to having to be a little bit quieter. And now that I'm back at full volume i have to imagine the audio quality might not be so good but maybe it'll be just fine um but yeah yeah everything is looking um looking better we're in a we're in a safe place we're in a better place whenever we go um to move stuff out i will be going with family so hopefully um nobody will try to um, mess with us or threaten us or anything of the sort um it, it's been scary it's been scary but that's most of what's been going on. We're just going to keep playing this until I end up dying. Uh, Dead Ops Arcade. I guess we can talk about that a little bit now. It's fun. Um, it's fun like whenever you're playing with friends. I don't really find too much fun in it solo. Again, I don't even know what button it is. Maybe I can finally figure out what button it is to nuke. Uh, tab. Caps lock. Shift. I tried like Q, E, R. Uh, dude, space bars, dash. Mouse buttons? Ah, probably the grenade button. Hold up, hold up. Was that G? Yeah, okay, got it. So G is the nuke button. I should have figured that one out, honestly. Ooh, player life. Um, it's a fun little game mode. It, it really is. It's Again, it's the most fun whenever you have friends and it's kind of chaotic and you're all trying to beat each other and screw each other over to get as high of a score as you can. Um, I think it's whenever it shines. It should just be viewed as a party game. You know, look, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I don't be playing Mario Party solo. That's all I'm saying. I don't play mini games solo. I uh, they're more fun whenever you know I get to play with my wife or with my friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a fun little game mode. I'm always really been bad at it. Truth be told, like, I've never been particularly good at it, which is weird because I, I typically like Bullet Hell slash Bullet Heavens. Um, I wish you know it would be cool if they made it in like a proper roguelike. Maybe Dead Ops like, Arcade 3 was, um, but if they made it in, like a proper roguelike where you get like permanent upgrades and stuff. Dude, why isn't Dead Ops Arcade a roguelike? That seems like the biggest like whiff ever. Um, oh man! And by the way, here's one thing that makes me so sad. There was um, a cool April Fool's thing that Plutonium was doing where they were like teasing Black Ops 3. I had a whole script wrote about it and everything that I wanted to record, and I just wasn't able to. Um, oh, one thing I will warn you guys of is because of these current situations, there might end up being some post commentary videos. I don't know. Um, truth be told, I think it doesn't bother 99% of people, especially if I don't bring it up, because I know whenever I watch videos, I get a little um, unhappy with it if it is like seemingly tried to be concealed um but also i think sometimes you have to try to conceal it because some people don't like watching post uh, post commentary i don't like watching post commentary too much um i much prefer live commentary and so i totally get the trying to conceal it and maybe i don't know maybe i will try to conceal it maybe i won't um i just walk straight into that like an absolute egg no ray moose brother oh, well let me move so uh, we might have to end up doing some post commentary videos um, just because it might make it a little bit easier on me to help keep an upload schedule uh, staying consistent. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. I don't know. Um which is a little bit of a fair warning. I will not be disclosing it in the video whether it's post commentary or not. So just show you every video like it's live commentary. Because odds are they probably will be live commentary. But maybe they won't be. Oh no. But it kind of is more important for me to just get the videos out. And hopefully, you know, 90% of people can still enjoy them. Even if maybe the commentary seems a little bit different. Also, this video could have been post commentary. There was no need for it to be live. Whenever I'm just recapping a story. Honestly, post commentary would have been better for recapping. Because I wouldn't have gotten so distracted. Ooh, challenge round. Go ahead and grab the old flamethrower. Hopefully we don't just instantly die this time. Dude, these graphics are like <laughs> questionable. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like Uncharted. The um, like the jungle kind of ruins vibes. I would oh my god, how did they even get me? I was just walking, man. Like what crazy. These challenge rounds, man, they they ain't no joke. I also maybe I'm crazy. I feel like the game isn't necessarily balanced around solo, but it's probably just giga skill diff of hell, if I had to guess. Put down the turret, hopefully it'll help us a little bit, but like, dude, look how many there are, they just don't go down. These basic guns are so bad, I gotta get all me points, even though they give me no actual advantage, and I can't translate it into anything worthwhile whatsoever. I'm just gonna stay still, this thing is way too hard to shoot. I think I'm invincible in it anyways. 
But ooh, once I get out of it, I don't know if I have any invincibility frames. I would hope I do, but I'm not so sure. Ooh, you know what I've been doing though? In some of my uh, time here while I've been trying to like relax and stuff, getting back into WoW. WoW has been fun. I'm also getting back into Overwatch 2 very heavily. Um, I'm trying to make a push for Plat before the end of the season, but honestly, I don't know when this video will go out, so I might have already begun the beginning of the next one. I'm like gold right now or something. I used to be a plat support player. Um, I played with a five stack and I always enjoyed playing support with them. Um, but in Overwatch 2, I wasn't the biggest fan of support. But now it's actually turned into something I like a little bit more. I'm having a bit more fun with it. Ooh, can we get the old monkey? Monkey business? Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. My jam partner is a monkey, 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 monkey. Dude, I feel like I'm not going to be able to get this guy taken down at all with just like the base gun. Oh, he just took my, my, my junk, bro. All right. I don't know if he's still there, but I think he can damage me. Oh, it looks like this is the only way I can go, though. Um, yeah. I, I do like how there's, like, the big boss of the monkey, though. That's fun. I can't remember the name of it. Choose an exit and seal your destiny. Ooh, what are they? I know they, they're, like... There are certain things. <sighs> yawn, yawn, yawn. <sighs> Sleepy. The fates have awarded the gift of firepower. So is this, like, a permanent gun upgrade? I hope so. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever made it this far, truth be told. <laughs> like, this actually might be the farthest I've ever made it. I thought the Dead Ops Arcade, I'd just have a nice little short video, but... Because I ended up doing the second run, and we're actually doing a good bit better on the second run. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. What else is there? Dude, okay. Alright, GTRP talk, GTRP talk. Dude, there was the craziest thing. I was watching Moomin, as I do be. I've been getting into a lot of other um, GTRP streamers. Let's see if I can think of a, two, a few. Um, okay. 52 Chains, I think is his name, 25 something, I believe is the other one, that's Carmine and Bobby Charles, um, Kyle is Kyle Pred, um, Diva Jilly, I think is her name, is Siobhan Thoroughbred, uh, hold up, I've got more, I've got more, obviously s Fan is Cornwood, uh, do, 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 give me a second to think, ooh, what's his name, uh, Garrett plays, oh, I can't remember his name, Squeaks plays Ramaswamy, but he's not played that in a while, um, oh, there's so many more, Sab plays Slacks, Okay, okay, that's it. I have other ones, but I've named off more than enough here. Um, just, you know, they're all bigger careers than me by far. Um, but just, you know, to, to have a little shout out to them, because I, I do watch these guys all the time. I've been I've been loving GTRP. Basically, one of Lenny's characters, his cop character that you've had uh, for quite a while, he made it back in 2020. And obviously there was, you know, a bit of a break between uh, when he played it last and now. But it's been, that character's been getting very fed up with PD. And basically, like, completely, now you guys said, the character he plays is called Lenny Hawk, who is an extremely hyper aggressive person who <laughs> does some crazy stuff uh, but never like insanely crazy to the point where he went last night where he got so mad for when he quit and like you guys and Lenny's entire life is like the PD right uh, and he quit and he just straight up shot the captain he was so angry because um, he you know in his eyes the PD had been absolutely useless in the situation and that's how it's been for a long time it feels like because they just aren't doing anything to like support um, you know other officers this that or the other and it was the, the coolest like moment and I whenever I was looking at like really watching the clips on like you know reddit and stuff seeing all the comments one of the comments was like Wow, you know, all the degens who stayed through all the RP must have, like, this must have been the biggest payoff in the world. Um, and I, in just like, and the second comment under that was like, as someone who's watched all of the RP so far, this was the most amazing thing. And I was up at like 2 a.m. watching it, just like physically shaking because of how awesome it was. Because I've been watching it and everything. Bro, girls, GTRP talk over, video over. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch this cute little cutscene. Um, basically, but that's everything that's been going on in my life. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking through anyone who's still here. Holy videos will be coming back to some form of normalcy. But thank you guys for uh, always being here and supporting me. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, have a good everybody. And me back. Take it easy. We'll wait and finish the old cutscene. What the? Dude, the monkey one, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at him go. Let me play. Why can't I play as the Cosmic Silverback? That's his name. All right, guys. Peace out.